Hey, welcome back. First of all, for using CloudFormation, you will need an AWS account. And there are two ways to use CloudFormation. One is to our AWS console. All you do is search CloudFormation over here. And that opens this up. But if you are into ISE, you're gonna need something more than this. So the other way to do it is through terminal. We'll be using VS Code for this, but you could use any terminal. First of all, what you'll need is AWS CLI. I've added a link to download this for you guys. So for Mac OS, we have this commands. I'd ask you to go with CLI for all users. If you're using Windows, then we have our MSI here. And for Linux, we have the curl commands as well. So if you're finished installing AWS CLI, what we do next is AWS configure. This will ask you for access key ID. For that, you need to create a AWS account and then go to IAM. If you don't have users over here, you could add one user. You click on that user and then go to security credentials and create access key for command line interface and click next. Copy the access key and cigarette access key. And you can have a default region as well. And yeah, we could do JSON. With that, our CLI has been set up. And that's it. CloudFormation comes with AWS Management Console. So there is nothing additional to install. To use CloudFormation, you'll work with templates written in YAML or JSON format. You can create templates manually or use AWS provided sample templates as a starting point. Templates can also be stored on AWS S3 or hosted on GitHub. So let's get started.